Welcome to Change the World Day 2012. Today we're meeting up with United Methodists from a whole bunch of the churches in South Portland, Portland, and Cape Elizabeth for a day of service. We have six different projects that we have planned and uh, groups of people from all the different churches represented going out to, to work in each of the six sites. We're really excited about a wonderful day. It's a beautiful sunny day and uh, we're just looking forward to seeing all that God has in store for us as we strive to put our faith into action in ways that change the world. we gathered here at Hope Gateway in Portland to sing and to pray, to get to know each other, to introduce one another, and then to divide up into six different work teams. Now the teams have gone out to the six different sites and they're already getting their hands dirty, they're putting their faith into action, they're working together, many different churches, about 50 different people in different places working together to change the world. Street United Methodist Swap Shop. This is our clothing share that has been in the works for about a year now. Folks come in here on the last Saturday of every month and they can trade in anything they have or they can just take what they need. We have four young women here at the church who have been staffing it and today we have an army of volunteers with another eight people, five people who are here helping and we're just swapping out the winter clothes and packing them away and bringing out the summer clothes. It's such a wonderful gift. We've helped over 400 people in our neighborhood in the last year and we're hoping that we can help that many more in the next few months. Hi, so I'm here at the swap shop at Elm Street United Methodist Church um, and it's really cool to, you know, for us to have a chance to work together with the other churches in the area because I think sometimes we get all stuck in our own stuff and forget that there are other United Methodist churches out there trying to make a difference in the community. So bringing us all together on a day like this reminds us that we can help each other. Um, this is a really neat resource that, that I had no idea was here but I'd love to be more involved with. So happy to have the chance to help out for today and hopefully again. Hi, my name is David Dashimia. I am here in a Methodist church. Just I'm preparing the, the some goods and the, some dresses I put in the dresses. I, I separate, I make the shirt, t-shirt and the shirt in the front part. I separate for to make and to help the first people. That's why we what we are doing here. It's our voluntary and it's to, to change our world. <laughs> so, today in South Portland at this first first United Methodist Church, we are cleaning up Brown Cemetery, moving and picking up headstones that have been laid down in the dirt for a long time, and uh, uh, weed whacking and mowing around the gravestones. The church has full responsibility of this area, so we're giving them a hand getting it ready. Awesome, and they having fun? A lot of fun. A lot of fun, for sure. Matt, why don't you tell what you've been doing? What have you been doing, Matt? So I've been doing a little weed whacking and we've been lifting up stones, putting them back vertical, sinking them into the ground, making sure that they are not laid flat or at an angle. A lot of fun. Today we've been baking cookies, um, chocolate chip with oatmeal, to put in bags that say you are loved that we're going to deliver around the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, we are 
doing these cookies for this neighborhood here in Thornton Heights and then also in Portland. And this year, the Change the World is, we're working with a bunch of churches in this area and I think that's an amazing way to work together and build a larger church community in this area. cultivating communities at Turkey Hill Farm in Cape Elizabeth and uh, we've been working hard today. We've done a lot of weeding in the strawberry beds, um, we've done weeding in the flower beds, we put down newspapers and wood chips um, in the pathways, the walking pathways through the flower garden. We've done a lot of mulching and we've done lots of learning about the farm and things that are growing and the programs they offer here and it's been really fun. my first time doing Change the World and I got to work with Courtney. Um, we were weeding strawberry patches and uh, we got really dirty and our dirt is still on but it, we don't care because it was really, really really fun. fun. As we gathered around the tables at the end of the day to share stories and to eat pizza together, there was a sense of joy, there was a sense of, of, um, of real celebration for all the different things that we had been able to share together, for the many different ways that we experienced God at work uh, through our hands and through our hearts united together, and a real sense that this is the beginning of something really exciting. As we continue to collaborate together, as we seek new ways to be in ministry and mission right here in our own communities as we work together to continue this work of changing the world. We didn't burn a single cookie and we made 770 cookies. <laughs> When we work together, love is all around. When we follow the example of Jesus. When we open our hearts. When we share God's love. We can change the world. We can change the world. We can change the world. We can change the world.